Hey guys, um, so I'm so excited. Scott is here. He's not normally here. I don't know what his deal is. He's going to come up. Here is Scott. I don't know if you guys have seen him. Maybe not in a little while. Hi, handsome. I'm wearing black. Of course you want to hang out. Why wouldn't the orange cat want to hang out when I'm wearing black? Uh, well, okay, to be fair, I wear black a lot. Anyways, um, we are here today to play with a new palette. So uh, it was just my birthday. And um, my in-laws, and I hate saying that because I feel like it always sounds negative, but my in-laws are wonderful people and they're very nice and I really love them. Um, they got me what I wanted, which was the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, uh, with Morphe. It's volume two. So it just uh, is full of these just like gorgeous bright colors. I know Scott, you're, he's a big fan. Um, I just think they're such gorgeous bright colors and I just feel like it's perfect for springy summer and I really want warm weather. We haven't even had that cold of a winter, you know, it really hasn't been, but uh, it's been like, I don't know, just like windy and chilly and I don't know, I'm ready for, you know that feeling where you're just like ready for spring, you're ready to like wake up in the morning and before you leave the house not have to start your car. It's just I miss that. I'm excited for it. I also got uh, from Sean the Jaclyn Hill Eye Brush Set. Um, I've been trying to, um, well I'd be lying if I said I'm any kind of minimalist because that's a lie, but I am trying to really just be more, I guess, aware of uh, the, the things that I'm using so that I can keep the things that I'm using a lot of and really getting wear out of and then I can, um, you know, give away or donate or whatever the things that I'm not using because it's just silly to hold on to possessions for the sake of holding on to them, you know? Um, hi Scott, he's still here. He really loves us. Um, okay, so for the transition shade, I'm gonna follow my instincts and go in with the one I did before, which is Perfectionist. Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming with the I Love the Stage Essence Eyeshadow Base. Um, and I am going to put that on my lower lash line as well because you know there will be eyeshadow there too. We're going to start out in the crease with Perfectionist, and I'm using a Wet n Wild, I don't know, tapered blending brush. It was like 50 cents on Amazon. Um, and we're going to, um, looking straight ahead with my hooded eyes, and just starting to blend this into where my crease should be. Looking pretty nice. Blending smoothly. honest with you, well, you know me, um, I have no idea what we're going to do today. All I know is that these colors are really beautiful and they're bright and exciting and, but there's also enough kind of neutral warm browns and tans that uh, if we wanted to make it more tame we could. So I do have to, you know, respect that you can go either way with this. Okay, so I feel like that's a good kind of even start uh, for us to figure out where we want to go from there, so. We are going to go in now with, oh, Scotty. <sighs> it's out of control. Um, okay, we're gonna go in with Grateful, so we're gonna deepen up this crease. And I'm going to go in with a um, with the Jaclyn Hill. This is the JH40, so a much more tapered um, kind of like crease brush. And I'm going to just dip that into Grateful. And then making it a little bit more precise. So not blending this up as high as the other one. We're just going to get 
a little bit of deepening here. Okay, I want to go back into Perfectionist and just kind of buff out the edges of this. Just make sure it's taking the shape that we want it to take and to just kind of bring some of that original color back. So just a little bit onto the brush and then blending out. Okay, just kind of like it's just kind of really softening it for us and keeping that shape. Okay, so now I'm going to use that same brush. And this is where I'm deliberating because this is where we either go deep neutral or deep colorful. All right, we're gonna go deep colorful. We're gonna do heart on, which is a matte red. Okay, so I'm gonna put that a teensy bit onto my JH40 brush. Okay. Okay, so again, depositing that color on the outer portion and then slowly blending some of it in. Okay, so this is really starting to give us that shape and that dimension we want. This color is really, really vibrant. Oh, that's pretty. Let's do Positivity, which is a really beautiful, um, and I'm going in with the JH41, so this is more of a flat packing brush, and this is like a, um, I wonder if this is too similar. All right, we'll see. Okay, so this has some pink to it. Okay, so I'm putting it on the inner portions. It's like a pinkish orange. For that outer portion, we're gonna go in with Therapy Sash, which is a, a a deeper but still bright, uh, and this one is a purple, so this is going to be our, our contrasting color there. of color that is gorgeous okay so I th feel like we need to deepen up that like outer area so let's go into not my journey which is a darker cooler purple or it does have shimmer uh, and this is the JH 39 right in where my crease is Okay, so we're concentrating it on that outer area, but we are bringing some aspect of it in and across our crease. Okay, and now I'm blending it into that uh, therapy sesh color. And this is called Not My Journey. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, and I feel like that inner portion, I want to kind of, I want to put no joke in there. Um, I feel like that tea color is not uh, quite as vivid as I was hoping. So I want to put this on the inner portion, just kind of blending into the tea color before it turns into therapy sesh. So then I'll go back into Positivity. This is the JH42. 
in the center there. Okay, Morphe E17. Um, I know we started to deepen up that crease, but now I do want it a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go into that Not My Journey, and I really want to thicken this up and pack it in. I think this is a gorgeous color, and I like the idea of deepening that up. I say we do some G Money, which is a nice warm, uh, like brownie mustard color on the outer edge, and then put that no joke yellow on the inner portion and just kind of blend them in between. So I'm gonna use my fingertip to put G Money. And then a different fingertip to put on, no joke. And if I make a bit of a mess, we're okay because I haven't done foundation and concealer yet. Thank goodness. All right, so our face is in good shape as far as foundation and contour and such. So now I'm gonna go into eyeliner and I'm using NYX uh, retractable liner in brown. Okay, now we're gonna curl lashes and apply a couple coats of mascara. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. I feel like I always do a neutral lip and that's not everybody's cup of tea. So maybe we'll do something bold here. So let's do the main portion of our lips with um, the Stila Stay All Day in Bocce. This is like a great kind of neutral cool tone but it's still got a good amount of pigment to it. and it smells delicious. Then we're gonna go into the Maybelline Huntress, which is this like deep purpley color. And I just wanna put it a little bit on the outside. Oh. So it definitely deepens it. I just have to be really careful to not use too much. And I'm using it, one of the MSQ lip brushes. And this is getting tricky because the other lipstick, the Stila one, is drying. So it's not really meshing with this as much anymore. It worked. Sometimes you try these things and it's amazing and sometimes you try them and they're terrible. So I'm gonna add some of the unique beachfront um, bronzer in Sunset. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, which I really actually think can be quite beautiful. I know I wasn't originally always a fan of that, but um, I actually really do like it. And for colors like this, where I feel like it can be kind of, it can kind of wash you out if you're very fair, um, because these colors are so like bright and vivid. Um, I kind of like that this, you know, something like that brings the color back. Um, so, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like this look. Uh, let me know if you got this palette, if you tested it out, how you feel about bright colors and uh, what type of lip colors do you tend to do when you have uh, like a very bright eye. Um, so, thank you guys so much.